All right, guys, I've got you here today. Thank you much for your time. I know you've been playing and drawing stuff and you're coming to speak to me. But on this closing bell, I just want to share some really bad news, which you guys are part of. So this bad news is regarding our investment in the most famous stock in the world called? Tesla. And you know how much Tesla stock have you got? 20. 17. And you still got? Apple. And you have? Microsoft. Yeah, I mean, the last few days, the market has been so bad that the stock has fallen down so badly. But let me put in context. So Tesla stock was worth $800 and it fell down to as low as $600. So how much loss is that? $200. Yes, so $200 per stock. Oscar has got 20. So 200 times 20 is? 4,000. So each of you lost almost $4,000 each. Why? Yes, that's true, that's the fact. You guys need to know, I know you're young, but you need to know you lost $4,000 each. What can you do with $4,000, Oscar? Do you know what can you do with $4,000? Do you know, Audrey? Go on two expensive holidays. Yeah, you could go to Disneyland for two weeks with $4,000. Like each of you, on your own. And that's how much you've lost in Tesla. It's not including mine, not including mom's, everybody's. It's going to be even worse when you plus altogether. I know it's very annoying, it's angry, but this is part of investing. This is part of the stock market, guys. I mean, you guys need to know this. I know you're young, but, but stock market is all about investing in long term. Okay, and the reason why it fell today because of market volatility and people are selling off taking profit. I just want to say we still focus a long term Tesla. We shouldn't have regret it. But then the thing is, the good news is Tesla still has got the front self driving vehicle. Tesla has still got the, the automatic vehicle, the nice Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y. They've got more factories coming up. They've got long batteries where you don't have to charge them for too much and it will go very far. They've got solar panels to save the environment. So it's good news, more to come for Tesla. Don't worry because you're only young. By the time you grow up to be adults, Tesla will be even a bigger company. Your stocks may be even worth more and today's drop of $200 is just a blip. Any, any, any comments, anything you want to ask? Huh, Oscar, anything you want to ask? Is it your stomach or is it my stomach? I'm going to fart. <laughs> Will Tesla go up again? Will Tesla go up again? Yes, of course. Tesla is only uh, $800 billion. Now they've dropped to $600 billion. So they've lost, Elon Musk has lost $200 billion. Even worse than me and you. Lost $200 billion. So Tesla has bought lots of Bitcoins. Bitcoin has fallen. But then Tesla has just to focus to deliver vehicles. It has just to deliver sales. And then eventually, long term, you just come up. No more. Oh, you've got a question, Oscar. Is Elon Musk still the richest person in the world since he's lost money? You know, he's no longer. He's the second richest man in the world now because Jeff Bezos of Amazon, his share price didn't drop that much. So he was a top and his Tesla dropped so much and now he's the second richest man in the world. But do you think Elon Musk cares? Elon Musk doesn't care that he's the second man richest man in the world. He's, he's still helping the environment. Yes. And he's also sending rockets to Mars. 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 Yeah. Okay. Alright guys, thank you very much for joining. Any more questions, please feel free. Knock on my door, fill a form and make an appointment, okay? Okay. <laughs> thank you. Alright. Welcome back to Closing Bell, guys. And that was pretty stressful trying to explain to the kids about how the Tesla stocks has fallen. But again, it's a very important lesson for me to, to walk the journey with them on this investment journey. For them to understand stocks do not just go up. On days like this, stocks will eventually fall and we need to understand why it fell. So Tesla stock shareholders will be a bit disappointed dropping as low as 620, but it's bounced back up to 700. So I suppose the question is, loads of stocks has fallen. Good quality stocks like Apple has dropped to correction zone, 50 day moving average. Fiverr dropped to as low as 220 and then bounced back up to 280. The likes of Square, PayPal, SEA Limited, Amazon, the list goes on. So it's not just a single stock that's fallen, but it's lots of stock that's trying to go into the correction area. So NASDAQ is officially not correcting yet, but it's not far from correcting if this goes on. So what is driving all this? It's all driving to a stop now because Jerome Powell came out about three hours ago to explain about the economic situation in America, COVID-19 cases de declining, and also the housing market is improving, but unemployment is still an issue. And most importantly, from Jerome Powell, he is still providing all the support that he can from the tools in his toolbox to supply and print money and help to ease the situation to get everybody on their feet. 
So the scary, dirty word that we didn't hear was rise of interest rate, reduction in buying bonds, and also printing money to buy the indexes. Those were not being said. So we still, we still, we're given a spare life to live another day. So for those of us who has not sold all this high speculative stock, high spec stock, potentially you might see a bounce tomorrow, a day after. Not sure you're going to get to the zone, but you know, be smart. Think about the risk in your system, in your in your portfolio that you're willing to take, you're willing to swallow. Is this the pill that you want to swallow to see a dip in 20, 30% every time, or do you prefer a stock that will just drop a considerable amount? You know, it's all about the cycle, the emotion cycle. It's about managing risk and managing your emotion. End of the day, you stay in a stock, you stay in a game. Longevity, when you look back nine months, 10 months, 18 months, two years, you look back, this is just a small dip. And one of the most regret that I have in my uh, you know, 10 years of investing is always times like this, I remember why don't I have more money to buy? I remember the dip in 2016 in February, Chinese New Year, back home, no cash in account. I cannot buy more stocks during that dip. And then two months later, whoosh, it went back up. I remember the 2019 January crash as well, not crash, correction. And guess what? Not enough cash to buy on the dip. I always remember those pain that you couldn't buy the bottom barrel, but then it's things that you cannot change. So lessons learned, lessons for future ahead. These are the things that you need to know and how to, to, to change and learn. You know, it takes years to learn, but as long as you stay in the game, those little debts will just be a matter of a history where it's just a little bump on the road. So hopefully this is still the case, but we still have to monitor the situation day by day because we have to manage our risk. For those who've been buying on the dips, well done. For those who've been buying Fiverr, Nvidia, NNDM, Tesla, all these great quality stocks, you have done really well. As long as the company balance sheet, as long as the company's earnings have done really well, because the earnings are significantly dropped below the Q4 2020. You've bought that stocks, well done to you. And hopefully the rebound will give us a bit of breather for tomorrow and the uh, day after. So take care guys, hopefully see you, uh, another closing bell segment for tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Please press the bell button, ding dong. Finally, watch the recent video up here.